Hey, I'm Dave Esposito. I'm one of the vascular surgeons here at the uh, Milford Vascular Institute. And uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about peripheral arterial disease, uh, otherwise known as PAD. So uh, PAD occurs when uh, people develop a blockage in one of their peripheral arteries. Uh, typically, uh, when we talk about peripheral arteries, we're talking about arteries in the legs. And um, that buildup comes from plaque. Uh, plaque can build up in the arteries and what it does is it causes a constriction of flow uh, throughout the artery. Um, the plaque uh, develops uh, through a number of reasons. Uh, there are multiple risk factors for developing plaque. The number one is smoking. Um, the others are high blood pressure, diabetes, hypercholesterolemia, and then there are other factors such as um, patient's family history um, that go into that. Uh, but for any of these reasons, if that plaque starts to build up within a blood vessel, the flow uh, starts to be constricted. And what arteries are doing, arteries deliver um, oxygen through the blood uh, to the end organ. So in the legs, uh, these arteries are delivering blood flow to the muscles in the legs. And as that blockage occurs, less and less oxygen can get to the muscles. And typically what a patient will um, experience is in the beginning they may experience nothing. Um, you can get quite a significant reduction of blood flow without having any symptoms. But once um, the patients do have symptoms, typically what they describe is, is a condition called claudication. What claudication is, is people start to walk and at a certain distance they start to get cramping in their calves. And when they stop walking, that cramping goes away and it's reproducible. So every day they'll say, you know, I try and walk and at a hundred steps, I start to get that cramping and I stop and it goes away. That's classic claudication. That's because as we walk, our muscles need more oxygen, they need more energy. And because we have this blockage, we, we can't deliver more oxygen. We can't deliver more energy to the muscle. And so our body sends a message to our brain, which is pain that tells us stop walking. And so as the blockage gets more and more, um, the uh, patient will walk less and less. Uh, they'll find out that, that every month they're able to walk less before that cramping comes. So that's, that's a reason that most people will go to see their doctor eventually and uh, be referred to a vascular specialist. And what we do is we'll run tests to check and see if there are blockages in the, in the legs. And, um, most times that uh, can be done non-invasively with blood pressure measurements, simply measuring the blood pressures in the arms and then comparing them to the blood pressures in the legs. Uh, we can tell almost right away if there's a blockage. Uh, typically, those blood pressures should be exactly the same. If they're different, if the pressure in the legs is lower than the pressure in the arms, then we know there must be a blockage somewhere in there. And that'll uh, if that test is abnormal, that will usually um, lead us to getting another non-invasive test, which is called an ultrasound. An ultrasound is uh, using sound waves to track the blood flow through a blood vessel. And so we can look at the blood vessels in the legs and we can tell if there are blockages somewhere in that blood vessel. And if there are, then we uh, made the diagnosis of peripheral arterial disease and then we can start to have conversations with our patients about what do we do uh, from here to, to take care of the symptoms. Um, with peripheral arterial disease, um, the patients are, are actively involved in that decision because it's really a lifestyle uh, modification. So typically with claudication, our first step will be non-invasive measures. Um, and typically in medicine, we like to start with the least invasive, safest um, measures first and work our way up. So with peripheral arterial disease, that involves uh, modification of risk factors, which would be stop smoking, control your blood pressure, control your cholesterol, control your diabetes, um, an active exercise program. And but I, what I mean by exercise is not, you know, going to the gym and lifting weights, it's walking. What we tell our patients is try and walk as much as you can, minimum 20 minutes a day for three days a week. And what patients will find is if they do that and push themselves in that walking program, that they can increase their walking distance. And then there are medications that we can use to, um, to try and uh, improve blood flow by either making the platelets a little slipperier, thinning the blood a little bit. There are 
are, are all different kinds of medications that we can try. And um, a lot of times using these conservative measures, that's enough. Um, the patients will have uh, relief of their pain where they can at least do the things that they want to do. Um, if it's not, then we kind of move to the next step. And the next step is intervention, where we try and unblock the blood vessel. Um, and unblocking the blood vessel can be done in two ways. Um, one way is uh, what we've done for the last, you know, 50, 60, 70 years, and that's surgical treatments. Um, we can go in and remove plaque if it's in certain blood vessels, or we can do bypass procedures where we actually build a new blood vessel that can go around the blockage and deliver blood that way. Um, those procedures work great. They're usually very durable and successful. The problem is they're very invasive. Um, and so patients um, who typically have many risk factors, um, that surgery may be risky for them. And there are a lot of um, complications that can occur and there's a lot of recovery afterwards. So um, in the last 20, 25 years, there's really been a revolution in how we take care of these patients. And we do that in a minimally invasive way, uh, what we would call endovascular, meaning working from the inside of the blood vessel. So rather than doing a big operation, what we can do is get into the blood vessel through a needle and fix the blood vessel from the inside. And we have numerous ways we can do that using various um, balloons and stents and um, rotor rooter devices where we can core out the blockages and, and remove the blockages that way and open up the blood vessel, but do it in a way that's um, minimally invasive. So the patients are up walking almost right away without any incisions and they go home right away and, and get back to work. So um, that's really changed the way we've taken care of patients here over the last 15, 20 years. So um, there's a lot of options for people with peripheral arterial disease. The key is one prevention, but if you don't get to that prevention, um, early uh, diagnosis and early uh, treatment can, can help uh, you know, prevent the progression of disease because peripheral arterial disease untreated can lead to worse things, which is constant pain and even um, tissue loss, meaning gangrene and, and eventually amputation. So that's what we're trying to prevent as vascular surgeons. You know, at Milford Vascular Institute, um, we do free screenings where you can come in and we can, we can just check you out in five minutes and give you an idea. Uh, and we also have experts in, um, in the field of vascular surgery we, um, where we um, you know, deal with this every day and we can, can help you make the diagnosis, get you on a treatment plan, help you avoid having procedures. Uh, but if it comes time to have procedures, whether they're surgical or endovascular, um, we have all the, all the tools and techniques uh, to take care of you. We feel that we um, have really the best of all worlds here. Um, I'm a vascular surgeon who's trained in endovascular therapies. Um, Dr. Davis, my partner, is an interventional radiologist trained in endovascular therapy. So we kind of come at it um, at the same disease from two different specialties with all the different, um, um, all the different techniques and areas of expertise and perspectives. So we feel like we give patients a real well-rounded um, evaluation and, and a lot more options for treatment. Um, you know, so, um, you know, any, any uh, questions or concerns, like I said, you can call your doctor and you can uh, come see us at Milford Vascular Institute. We'd be glad to help you out. If you have leg pain while walking that's relieved with rest, you may be suffering from peripheral arterial disease, also known as PAD. At Milford Vascular Institute, our highly skilled vascular specialists can diagnose and treat PAD using the most advanced, minimally invasive methods available anywhere. To schedule a consultation with one of our vascular specialists, to discuss your symptoms, give us a call today at 203-418-7386 and it will be our pleasure to care for you.